That's a horrible name for a token. Come on. <laughs> yeah, boy. Well, um, <laughs> it's about time someone created a dick token. Um... <laughs> Hello, everybody. As always, this is Carmelo and Sasha from Arcanum Ventures. And I think you know the deal by now, but we're back for another Wednesday 10 minute eye test. We've been better lately sticking to that 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's head on over to our good friends at Crypto Rank and check out what's launching this week. Yeah, and so we've got, um, it doesn't look like a terribly exciting week, but um, there's some interesting ones. And so here's a list of upcoming IDOs, IEOs and ICOs via Crypto Rank. And, uh, you know, just quickly scanning it, like when these things are launching, we did see this one here, Dex Check. And, you know, we look at like a number of different factors when we're trying to choose an interesting project. And at the same time, we want to kind of, you know, like change it up a bit so that we're not doing the same old projects every time. And I think we've been pretty good about that the last couple of times. So we saw Dex Check. We saw this $870,000 public raise. We saw Pools Finance, Engine Starter, and Cedify, and Blockchain Service. So we figured we'd give that one a shot. Carmelo, I know the last time we didn't start the clock until we dove in the website. Do you think we should do that? Or do you think we should start the clock as soon as we dive in here? Uh, I think it's good to get a little bit of pre-information. Maybe that's cheating, but either that, we got to stick to the end to give our full thoughts on it and just cruise through the website as fast as possible. All right, well, let's give that a shot then. So here's, um, I guess here's the uh, the rundown on Dex Check. Oh, okay. AI boosted analytics for crypto and NFT trading. That's a tough market to break into, but it looks like they've already got some backing. So uh, yeah, like $870,000 public raise. Um, total raise close to a million fully diluted market cap of 10 million. Not a lot, honestly, for, a, for an FDV. Um, and so, yeah, what do you, uh, let's make some predictions. What do you think this is going to be? Is it going to be like a little bit more degen NFT trading, AI buzzwords, um, hype cycle startup, or do you think it's going to be like maybe a little bit more institutional facing something for people that are used to maybe like a traditional, um, you know, stock market uh, equities trading um, or brokerage platform. No, I think for sure this is geared towards the DGENs. Like even in the name, it's it's catered towards, at least in theory, to decentralized exchanges or, you know, NFT um, platforms. So I think NFTs in general, I don't know any institutions that are trading NFTs unless they're like some sort of NFT market maker. So I'm guessing this is catered towards those masses of people that listen to influencers and maybe they think that they have a chance of becoming a millionaire based off of trading based off of the information of an ai boosted analytics platform whatever that means i don't know how you boost boost with ai but i'm sure we're <laughs> gonna figure that out soon i like boosted though i haven't heard that one yet ai fueled yeah. ai powered uh ai boosted boost is a strong word and i agree with you um NFTs, like we we all we all know and love NFTs, but let's be real. Uh, NFT space is still very much a an immature degen space, and a lot of people trading NFTs and talk about NFT fundamentals, they're talking about like some very very sketchy metrics. So um, yeah, I think this you're you're right in saying I think this is more geared towards degens. Interesting to see um, you know what they're going to do on the decentralized side. So, Even more interesting um, when, you, when you consider like all these, oh, there's steep competition out there like, you know, Masari or Dune Analytics. So I think they're probably using AI augmentation already. So I, I have a hard time believing any new competitor is really going to make a, an actual challenge, but we'll see. Yeah. And I think we'll also try and uncover like, what do they mean AI? Like, are they actually using any AI or are they just using AI as a buzzword? So um, all this and more, and uh, let's go ahead and dive in then. Here's, and we'll start the clock as well. In three, two, one, and go. Boom. Oh, I was a little early there. <laughs> Woo. All right. 
Carmelo, what are those C and I's, C? Well, that's a very menacing looking robo owl. owl. I don't know what that means, but AI boosted analytics. Okay, that's basically what we saw already. Token utility. What is that, pricing? I okay. see something fun. Uh, it looks like it's incubated. We, oh my goodness. Our, our old incubated friend. Incubated by Chain GPT. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, McMuffin. So Chain GPT <laughs> is incubating projects now. I would say that's good traction. Good for them. Um, we didn't have a whole lot of high hopes for Chain GPT, but uh, look, a stamp of approval by Chain GPT on an AI boosted analytics platform. Maybe all the AI IP is coming from Chain GPT, or maybe that's just like a you know flimsy stamp of approval. We don't really know yet. It's still very early for both Chain GPT and AI boosted analytics. So more to Actually, come, it, I guess. It does make sense because Chain G, uh, sorry, yeah, Chain GPT is uh, its own blockchain, and it said it did want to launch apps, I believe, and use the data from its users to power the AI. So that's pretty cool. At least they're sticking to what they wanted to. That is true. And like one would hope that they raised enough money uh, through their token launch and the hype cycle. And I think it hit like 22, 24x or something. So maybe they were able to extend their runway a little bit. So um, let's dive right in. Like the visuals um, look pretty cool. I think it looks cool. Um, and looks like they're building a revolutionary uh, platform powering crypto slash NFT trading success with AI driven blockchain intelligence. Founders and website creators, uh, all caps text uh, stuff together like this. It's no fun to read. So maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe do something with it. I feel like there's two main things I want to see so far and, and here pricing and uh enter the app like you can actually enter the app which is pretty cool at least it's live now so we can see what it looks like yeah and then we'll we'll enter the app let's just run through this real quick so unparalleled ai powered analytics that's one of my favorite words but unfortunately it's not a word you want to see when um trying to learn about what a company is doing it's a descriptive word um it doesn't offer any sort of like tangible metric or deliverable like unparalleled is kind of just uh, subjective, right? Elite trader unmasking. So they've got some trading tools. They've got market intelligence, um, maybe from like data feeds and secure and user friendly platform. I guess we'll find out if that's true when we dive in. But looks like there's a little screenshot here. Um, and that's pretty cool. Nice website. And I guess we'll go ahead and enter the app then. Um, oh, actually, here's the no. utility token. That's a horrible name for a token. Come on. <laughs> yeah, boy. Well, um, <laughs> it's about time someone created Dick Token. Um, <laughs> but hey, check it out. It unlocks analytics tools. It gives you access to private sales. Don't know what that means. Um, are you? Are we talking about like IPOs or IDOs uh, on DEXs? Um, influence through DAO governance, throw governance at everything. Access Always. to premium group and support. For a second, I thought it said premium support group. Like when you lose all your money trading with leverage, you need a support group to try and make sure that you live through those hard times. <laughs> That's something that we need and then earn rewards through staking. So robust, um, let's see. robust tokenomics. A lot of descriptive words here. And so, yeah, I think what we should do is try and understand a little bit more about how the product works, the app works, because already let's make a judgment call here. In my opinion, um, the tokenomics don't seem so strong. I mean, we've got like payment barriers, access barriers, earn rewards through staking. Come on, this is something from like a year and a half ago, guys. Like uh, I, you can go to any number of protocols or any token and just get staking rewards. Um, you know, and it's not a good business model because what you're doing is you're asking users to lock up tokens and then you're rewarding them with more tokens. And so you're just creating massive inflation. The only reason you want to pursue that maybe is that you yourself want to liquidate tokens. 
Um, so like, you know, investors need to be smarter than this. That's not a great utility to look at. And then uh, unlocking pro analytics tools through staking or maybe spending tokens. Honestly, that can be done with a uh, stable coin, like a subscription service, SaaS, something like that. And it looks like they have pricing. They have some sort of pricing business model, but they also have a way to use the token to unlock the platform. So there's some conflict of interest there. Yeah, so you're just staking tokens. And man, we've talked about this so many times, guys. Look, when you stake, when you ask your users to stake tokens to use your product, think about like a traditional business model. What does that look like? Basically, what you're doing is you're asking your users for an interest-free loan. You're asking them, hey, let me borrow $2,000 worth of tokens. You use this platform as much as you want. You have all of the benefits of a, like a paid premium membership. And then I give you your money back at the end. And so the only way this works for the company, users need to understand this. The only way this, this works for a company is they're asking you to stake those tokens and then they liquidate against you. And so that's, that's really uh, how this utility works, unfortunately. Uh, so like staking for access, that's not a good utility. That's not a good business model. It'd be much better to see them tie a token use case to like accessing premium features or, or something, um, you know, a creator economy. Uh, I'm not a fan of this one though. $10,000 worth of tokens staked for the, the highest. It's interesting though, that they peg it to a dollar amount instead of a token amount, because that that's at least a little bit better than if they said 10,000 tokens or 2000 tokens, because that fluctuates the value a lot more. And that also creates some like logistical issues for them. If they were to have users stake $2,000 worth of dick tokens, and then let's say they liquidate some of those tokens from their own treasury, they drive the price down. What happens then? Are they going to take all of those individuals off of the expert subscription and say, Hey, you got to stake more tokens to maintain this expert subscription because the token price went down markets, you know, China, whatever. And so, um, it seems like a conflict of interest really, if that's what they're going for. No, change GPT pad here, engine starter. <laughs> Oof, man, they're, they're <laughs> just firing on all cylinders, aren't they? Yeah. And they've got a sizable amount that they're offering compared to like Decubate, even engine starter. And so, yeah, it looks, uh, it looks interesting. Like let's, let's check out the product though, because nothing, none of this matters without the app. Right. So here we go. Ooh. All right. So what do you see, man? Well, kudos for having a live product because we've seen some projects take three years and still never launch anything complete vaporware. <laughs> so good to see that they have something. Um, and that you're able to test it before the tokens even live. So, you know, you have some leeway to see if you even want to buy these tokens and use it as an Oracle or use their API or all these offerings that they've listed before. So it looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I personally think I would much rather just pay the, what, small fee every month to use Masari or Dune Analytics, but I don't know what the, the advantage here, uh, AI is not going to cut it for me. So I don't know why. I would use this over that. I mean, it is nice to pay with crypto or stake crypto, I guess, but it's not going to bode well for them if they just have a staking access model. Like you and I hate staking access models for a reason. It doesn't really do well for the token or the, the project. It doesn't create any wealth or revenue. Yeah. I mean, like there's, you know, look, these things all sound pretty awesome. Um, top crypto traders, top NFT traders. You can follow the whales. You can follow the people gaining uh, the most wallet analyzer. This looks a lot like Masari, looks a lot like other platforms and even the styling and, and branding kind of looks like Masari. So yeah, I mean, staking $2,000 with the tokens and hoping the token price doesn't go into the ground versus maybe paying a subscription fee for some of the other platforms. But yeah, I mean, again, kudos to these guys. They built a platform. Hopefully it works. Uh oh, and that oh, no, 10 minutes. And you know what I just realized? 
they launched this platform with these pro features here. You need to stake the token to access the pro features, but they haven't launched the token yet. So we don't know for sure if they have these features. Uh, I mean, what happens when you click on the features? Nothing. Oh man, it's loading. Uh oh. Something. Anticipation. <laughs> well, nothing <maybe>. happened. <laughs> <laughs> so they could have nothing. I thought they would probably offer something free, like a, a sneak peek, like you're allowed to use these tools until the token launches, just to get you hooked. But, but looks like they have nothing. So. That is not encouraging. It would be really nice if they had at least something. Guys, if you even had like one thing. And look at this. That's a massive list of chains to offer, um, you know, trading data platform for. Um, if you had something, oh man, I would be so excited. And all the chains are uh, EDM, I guess they right? they got some top NFT trades. I don't think they had all any non-EDM trades. Uh, they've got a... Uh... Yeah, I think they're all EVM, huh? Is Kronos EVM? I don't think so. But I might be wrong. Mm. But it's interesting. I wanted to see for the NFT aspect, especially if they had um, Solana, but more importantly, um, Ordinals like or BRC20, because that is like one of the biggest narratives in NFT still is like that whole ecosystem is exploding. So no serious NFT trader is going to use a platform that doesn't incorporate that yeah, I know we're I know we're done now. That's our ten minutes. I just I really like messing around with some of these new platforms and understanding what they're doing, especially when it comes to data because I love data stuff. And so it, it just doesn't look like they've got a whole lot on here yet. I mean, it is the beginning. They are launching a token right now, so uh, maybe this is good traction. But anyways, um, I think maybe like worth a deeper dive into the product itself. Any, but uh, let's go ahead and remove that away. And I think it's time for da 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 the verdict. Da, da, da. So uh, <laughs> zoom in on our faces. Um, okay. <laughs> well, would you like to go first? Yeah. I mean, I don't have a whole lot more to add. We pretty much covered it all. But yeah, I think I would dive a little bit deeper. I, I bet this will do well just by sheer virtue of the fact that it's launching on the most active and most reputable launch pads, if such a thing exists. And, you know, we're in the doldrums of summer, there's not a whole lot going on. So an AI project incubated by probably the most impressive AI project that's launched this summer. Impressive for other people, but yeah, it's done the best. So I think it'll probably do well. I don't know if it will last a long time to be sustainable, but I think it will probably have a pretty good launch. I, my gut says I wouldn't invest in this and I probably wouldn't even use it because like we said, there's a lot of good options out there. Um, call me old fashioned. I'd probably want to just spend 25, $30 a month to access those really impressive, innovative platforms that are already out there for, for trading and finance, uh, not just crypto either. They, they do a whole, whole lot of stuff off chain. So, uh, I probably wouldn't use it. But yeah, kudos to them, like we said, for having a platform live. I think it will do all right. Um, Chain GPT seems to be busy, as you said. So probably going to have their first success on their launch pad. Going to make their community happy. Justify people buying that token. Yeah, I mean, good for Chain GPT. I guess they uh, they came out of the hype cycle strong. This one, um, I think it depends on like how you're approaching it. Uh, you know, if like from, from a platform user, I completely agree with you. There are really good platforms out there that already exist. You don't need to take a gamble on it. You don't need to put an upfront $2,000 investment into it to access it. Um, especially considering like, you know, it's, it's funny when you're selling a product, like you want to show exactly what the benefits of the product and what it can do before you flash someone the $2,000 price tag. So, um, you know, it's kind of just a strange thing. And at the same time, like from an investor perspective, um, if I were to invest in this, I, I see the launch pads, you know, I see the backers, the, the community is pretty big. I think, um, I heard somebody mention that they've got like a hundred plus thousand followers on, on Twitter. Who knows how genuine that is. So like, it's, you know, it looks like a hype project. They got AI in there. Um, but the, the utility, like the staking, all of this from like, let's say a hype cycle investor perspective, 
basically what you're trying to do is balance like your vesting schedule with like the long-term utility and just hope that there's going to be enough demand for that token um and so like the, the utilities that i've seen basically it's like you're going to be fighting corporate liquidations on the token and that's no fun and realistically they're probably going to have to change the business model if they want to develop some revenue and like expand the platform and continue developing a lot of these features because like let's be real building out a data platform and offering like really cool analytics features that's not cheap that's expensive that requires like some really knowledgeable developers so um, from an investment perspective like i'm not in i think i'm going to stay away from this one um from a platform perspective not so interested but let's see how it goes maybe uh maybe chain gpt is going to change the future of blockchain as we know it yeah anything's possible at this point we've seen weirder stuff i i tend to agree though that that right. business model does not look sustainable so they're gonna have to pivot so I, I would probably stay away from the token as an investment as well yeah well i guess that's it for our 10 minute eye test um as always thanks for watching make sure you like and you subscribe and you do all of the things and be sure to leave us some comments let us know what you want us to look at because I mean, there's a there's a few different projects out there. Some of them don't seem so exciting, but not everything's on our radar. So uh, make sure you let us know. And until next time, Sasha and Carmelo from Arcane Adventures. Ciao, y'all.